Dacia how guys <laughs> and so today I'm gonna tell you guys how I went from this to this and I'm also gonna tell you how you can start your own fitness journey what to do and just like general information about how you can get like as big as possible though I'm not a coach I'm not like a certified fitness trainer but I have some experience under my belt so but I have some experience under my belt so I think I am good enough to talk about like how to you know get started with your fitness journey so let's go so my first recommendation is when you're starting out and just in general is that I would recommend you to get a coach I've also been thinking about getting a coach for like a long time and I finally think it's time for me to also to also get a coach. So I'm getting a coach here the 1st of July, which I'm gonna be very, very excited about because I hope that I will be able to gain a lot more muscle than I have been, you know, getting here the last few years. Because, I mean, it's always nice to have someone to help you track your diet, track your training, and just in general, someone that has more knowledge than you will usually result in you getting um, some better progress. I mean, you don't really like need to get a coach, but I would just recommend it because it's you know easier for yourself, but also it will result in you gain a good amount of muscle or lose weight or just I mean just get more fit. When I started to lose weight in eighth grade, I uh, you know saw a good amount of progress um, by just you know eating less and walking more. And that resulted in me losing around like maybe 10 kilograms there. But I mean, I could have um, made my diet better. I could have, you know, got my coach on, but I didn't. But yeah, I ended up losing around like 25 to 30 kilograms in a year. So from like eighth grade to ninth grade, I became pretty thin. From start eighth grade, I weighed about like I think it was 105 kilograms but the end of like ninth grade I weighed about like 83 kilograms so it was a pretty pretty good weight loss but when we're talking about like dieting and what you should do and yeah I mean first I would say that you need to like know what your fat percentage is because you need to know if you're gonna bulk up maintain your weight or lose weight if you're like a skinny fat person or a fat person in general, you should go and take the route to lose weight. And of course, if you're like a skinny person that's already shredded, where you can see your six pack, then I would recommend you to either uh, maintain, like main gain, or bulk. What is like bulking and what is main gaining and what is losing weight, being in a, in a calorie deficit? Calorie deficit, let's take that first but yeah a calorie deficit is when you eat less than your body burns when you eat a less amount of calories than your body burns that will result in you losing weight while if you're like maintaining you will eat the like almost same amount of calories that your body is burning let's say if you have like a limit here this is where you main gain maintain your weight you eat the same amount of calories as your body is burning you're in a calorie deficit here you eat less than your body is burning and if you're bulking you're eating more calories than your body is burning so that's like the three like principles or like things that you need to know when you're dieting i'd say but yeah i mean being in a calorie deficit can be pretty hard and that's why i recommend to get a coach on that can help you with that so when you're gonna try to start a new weight i would recommend you to find out how many calories your body is burning in a day. So I would take those calories that your body is burning in a day and minus that with around maybe 200 to 300 calories. That way you're gonna be in a 200 to 300 calorie deficit every day. It's gonna be a good start for you to lose weight. But of course there's gonna be some plateaus in there and maybe you have, then you either have to decrease the amount of calories that you're burning or increase the amount of cardio that you're doing. If you're not losing weight, you should lower your calories more. But if you're losing weight, I would just recommend you to stay at the same uh, calorie amount. And okay, you get to the um, most interesting one, and that's bulking. Oh my god, I've been I've been bad at I've been really really bad at bulking because I would say I have a like I had a I have a big 
I, I kind of have a problem with food in a way because like for me I can be like really really disciplined on my diet when I'm losing weight but when I start to bulk I just think like okay now I don't now I don't have to you know eat clean anymore now I don't have to eat like chicken and rice or uh, lean ground beef and so on now I can just eat you know pizza and you know other uh, <laughs> fast foodie processed uh, foods and that's not true you should always try to eat clean but of course it's cool it's okay to eat uh, you know pizzas or like any other like processed foods sometimes um, but I would recommend to make you stay or like eat 80% clean and then 20% you know not clean when you're bulking I would also recommend that you first you know find your maintenance calories and then you plus your maintenance calories with around 200 to 300 calories more it will hopefully result in me gaining weight at a very very slow pace but it will also result in me gaining a lot of muscle if I have my training correctly so before I'm talking about which supplements I like I would just say thank you thank you very much guys because you made it possible for me to get sponsored by my protein and also thank you to my protein for giving me the opportunity to get sponsored by you guys it's absolutely crazy because I've been using my protein for around like three years now and I think it's one of the best quality supplement and protein brands out there. I mean, it's 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 absolutely insane. So so thank you very much, all of you. Thank you, Shishi. <laughs> but yeah, this video is sponsored by My Protein, and My Protein is a brand that focuses on making good, tasty, quality protein powder and supplements. And the most awesome thing right now is that My Protein is having a flash sale on the Taiwanese My Protein site. And the flash sale is going to start on the 4th of July, 9 p.m. And it ends on the 8th of July, 12 p.m. And the crazy thing is that MyProtein has 47% discount on every product on the site. And 45% on some items. And that's, I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy some protein from <laughs> the Taiwanese MyProtein site. Uh, to get the discount, you can, for example, use my promo code called MYPANTON. That will help you get a big discount on a lot of the products that are on the MyProtein site. Just remember, it's on the MyProtein Taiwanese website. Some of the most popular products are the ones that I'm gonna show you guys today. So let's go. And the product that I've been using for the longest amount of time is my protein's impact wave thing that i really like about my protein's impact wave is that it has a lot of protein per scoop but it's also very very low calorie while your juju also helps with muscle recovery and also to build bigger muscles that protein your juju helps you with recovery maintain muscle if you're in a calorie deficit or build muscle if you're in a calorie surplus for example i have one protein shake a day where I put two scoops of my protein's impact whey in it and then I also put 500 milliliters of milk in my shaker. My protein's impact whey is the product that I would recommend you guys the most if you guys are looking to bulk up or just maintain your muscle mass. The next essential product is Omega Freeze. And Omega Freeze, you do you with increasing protein synthesis. A lot of people are deficient in especially magnesium. And that's one of the reasons that I'm taking this supplement. I feel that I can just sleep a lot better. It makes me tired more quickly. So that's why I'm using it at night. And I just feel that in general, I get a better sleep by using, by using zinc and magnesium pills. Yeah. 